how are you guys today? Um, so am I the only one? Sorry, my hair, it is like one of those days I'm just like going through all of the clothes in my room and um, just trying to organize and declutter and I guess move summer to the back and move fall and winter to the front. I do love fall. Winter just makes me sad. I like snow. It's beautiful here, but it definitely lasts a little bit too long. I'm more of a warm person. But I'm about to make to take to make to take another pregnancy test um, because I've been feeling so good, like so good. It's so strange, um, which it could just be amazing and. And I could just be really lucky. Um, but do you ever just get to that point where you're like, you just want to check and double check? So I guess today I am a little over four weeks pregnant. Um, I haven't been to the doctor. Obviously, I haven't heard the heartbeat yet. I have my appointment scheduled, but that's not for another couple weeks. So yeah, I just want to, I have like one digital left over. So I'm going to take it just to make sure that it's positive and now this isn't even with my like morning it's like sorry I couldn't figure out what the clock was <laughs> it's like 12 o'clock so if it comes up then we're good to go but I'll let you know okay I found out that I have a first response left and a digital but I think I'm going to take the digital so right now it says nothing I'm going to take the cap off and dip it for five seconds. Cap back on. And then I'll show you the process. Okay. I waited until it got to oh my goodness. That third one just like Okay. Alright. Well that is as positive as it gets. I literally had like hardly any pee. <laughs> and I was like, let me just tilt this cup. And the first two took a couple like like 17 like little flashes. And then um when it hit the third one I was gonna start filming and oh my goodness, that just like went really really quick. So obviously I am pregnant. It is just like it's so crazy. At the good times Before it all went down Climbed right up on the hillside A different view of my life You left me running on and on But I don't care would you let me in You said goodbye like everything's gone Everything that we could have Okay, I'm at Target. This is not the most adorable blanket ever. Oh my goodness, I like, I just showed you, but I can't get over all the baby stuff. I kind of want to buy something for the baby because it's like, it's for real that I'm pregnant. And I kind of love this blanket. Should I get it? Maybe I'll put it in the cart. Okay, so. Now I'm in the stroller section. I'm so excited to start like shopping for all this and just looking at everything. It's just so crazy. I don't even know where to begin anymore. I really don't. There's like these four moms swing things that are all over the place. Everybody swears by them, but are they necessary? I don't know. We never use the swing at all for the girls. I didn't want them to be relying on it. But. Diapers. Which size should I buy? I think I'm gonna buy 
size one first. So excited. I mean if you couldn't tell in there, I got diapers and I got a baby blanket. It's so cute, it says I love you on it. And it is like a teal blue, which Josh is really, really hoping for a boy. Me myself, I'm hoping for a healthy, happy baby. I'd be fine if we had six girls, but I know he would love a boy, but he is definitely on the um same page with me that like the baby just needs to be happy and healthy and it could be a boy or a girl and if we have many many girls then he just knows he's meant to be the dad of girls um but I'm just so excited to start this process like to have this little bean inside me growing and it's just so awesome now we're gonna go get some sushi after I just am I the only one who does this who spends like $500? Yes, which is ridiculous, I know, for groceries. And I even went to Aldi's and then Target, but anyway. And then you wanna go out to eat, and not go out to eat, but bring food home so that way you don't have to cook after doing all the grocery shopping. I'm super excited. And just like a little memo, the sushi that I get is always cooked, 100%, so it's just um, I typically get shrimp and then just keep it simple like that because Mila likes shrimp as well, the shrimp rolls. And then um, Josh, I always get all the raw ones that are funky and stuff. So I'm just so happy. I'm so happy. I hope that you guys can like just join me along this journey and just watch my belly grow and my little peanut come out into this world. Oh, I'm so excited. Hey guys, it is now the next day. Um, we got home, I got home um, late last night around, <laughs> I say late, because I'm a mom and eight o'clock is, is late for us. Um, and then we decided to put on Secret Life of Pets 2. We ate sushi and watched a movie. So it was awesome. Excuse me. Um, so the fatigue has hit in full force today. Um, but I also <laughs> wanted to jump on here and tell you that yesterday when I was like testing, I must have like jinxed myself because I got on um, here yesterday talking about how I felt so great and how it was just amazing. And as soon as I, so I took my prenatal vitamins, um, these were new ones that I had tried that were really good quality that my neighbor gave me. Um, but so I took them yesterday around lunch and probably within an hour or two, I felt so nauseous and that lasted like all day. Um, sorry. Um, but that was like real crazy nausea. Um, and I didn't have a bad lunch or anything, so it wasn't anything that I ate. Um, but then, after I ate the sushi, which I didn't eat that much because I was, like, super, super full. I've been getting full really, really quick. Like, I have, like, a bowl of, like, clam linguine in front of me that I really want to eat. And, um, I ate it, but I couldn't eat all of it. And so, I'm just... I just get really full really quick. Um, anywho, last night as I was going to bed, I felt so sick. Like I thought I was actually going to get sick and I was like, no, because I've never been pregnant with a boy before and with the girls when I would actually, when I was pregnant with them in my first trimester, I only had like nausea and food aversions and like I couldn't do certain smells, like forget about it, but I did not. I'm so sorry. I did not um, actually throw up once. So I was hoping that that would continue to be the case. And I still am hoping because I didn't actually get sick. But all day today, the nausea has been real. 
So, I spoke a little too soon on feeling awesome all the time. That's pregnancy, so that's okay. And we were able to get some projects done today. Um, and still get some housework done and everything. And, um, yeah, so it's nothing that's, like, stopping me. But I'm definitely, like, I hit a wall today. I'm gonna go on again. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, and so it's just the fatigue and the nausea are, they're here. But I'm still so happy and so thankful to be pregnant and to just have this little baby growing inside me. And I just cannot wait to start feeling it move around. Like that's my favorite thing I think in life is being pregnant and feeling the baby move around and just growing and just becoming this little person. It just fills me with so much joy. So I just can't wait for that point. And I'm only like four weeks right now. Um, almost five weeks and with that being the case like these are really early signs for me to be feeling um, the nausea and everything but I think because I'm so in tune with my body that it just it's just here um, and hopefully t you know tomorrow I wake up and it's not so I'm just hoping that it's like a come and go kind of thing and then eventually just a go <laughs> kind of thing but yeah, I'm just so thankful for it. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching my video. Have a great day.